All right, welcome back, everybody. We are about to take out the Indian Super Chief. Yes, I did, sir. I liked it a lot, man. My, my camera died. I ended up meeting some YouTuber at the coffee shop right there, so I stayed out a little bit long, but I, I liked the ride a lot, dude. I really liked it. Yeah, dude, it, and I like the handlebars and stuff, too. I almost wonder if I wouldn't like the stock bars a little bit more, but, uh, dude, I, I enjoyed it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Cool. Thanks for riding. Absolutely. Thank you, dude. All right, so this one's got floorboards, highway bars, come standard with saddlebags and a windshield. So let's let it rip, tater chip. Already, uh, the back of the seat has found my butt, so I could deal with like a nice uh, saddleman seat on the step, step up seat on this zombie. I just met Shay Tree Surgeon and Shay Lisi. What's up? I literally said it in the last test ride video that I hope I meet them. Came around the corner from the Boulder Canyon area and I found them at the coffee shop. What is up? Uni, dude. Uni. Now I gotta go see them in Florida. Because. How sick would that be to be a real rider all the way down to Florida? Woo! So, first thoughts on the Super Chief Limited here. Rides pretty nice. Handles those bumps really nice. She's powerful. All the Indian bikes that I've rode have had a good amount of power. A nice torquey feel to them. But I really, I really, this bike's pretty comfortable, man. Breather on the left side again. Indian has changed the game up. No reason to do it the same as everybody else. After all, it's just a directional thing. It doesn't seem like it has to do with much of a different design. Not that I know. So there's their bikes. There's the Shade Tree and Shade Leasy Le bike right there. The BMWs. Badass, man. I have accomplished everything that I wanted to accomplish in this rally. I missed a couple of things that I wanted to see, but I had major accomplishments that I achieved. Woo! That's what I'm talking about, baby. All right, here we go. My camera died on me randomly last time too. That was a bum, but it's all right. Hopefully I got enough footage that I can uh, do a decent review on it. Rode a couple of bikes now with the heel toe shifter and I'll say that I do enjoy it. Just stomping it with my heel, not a bad deal. I wonder if this has the whole sport mode too or what? Man, what is up with people going crazy right now? Everybody's trying to go home to their loved ones. So that was a hella shock impact right there and it felt real comfortable on this thing. Shout out to Indian suspensions. I like this bike. Once again with the controls on this thing, they're a little bit blocky. Notice that about the first bike and the second Indian bike that I rode. It's a fun bike to ride. Handles really nicely, sits very low to the ground. It had been no problem at all for me to touch. Uh, flat footed, really enjoyable bike. The responsiveness is great. Handles just absolutely great. I can't wait to take this one around this, the roundabout up there. I hope my camera got me going around that roundabout. If not, I hope it'll get it this time. Yeah, it was a little late on the last test ride. So this Super Chief Limited is awesome. I uh, really enjoy it right now. Man, I'm having a blast today. All right, this is gonna be the real test of fate for the bike here. Oh, she's gonna crush it. So what I was doing earlier in, in here was, uh, you gotta get a consistent speed and change your focal point. Oh, here we go. 
it's all about finding the right speed the right focal point switch and having the right lean to get this turn you gotta keep switching uh, that's fun yeah Indian Super Chief Limited feels pretty good boys here we go let's catch up with the pack Super Chief. I really like this bike. It rides really nice. This bike handles really, really nice. And I just went into that 35 on the corner at 50. Throttled off, looked in, pushed a lean, and it just crushed it. Like, absolutely no problem at all. Alright guys, well that pretty much concludes it for this Indian Super Chief Limited. Very nice bike, comes in at around $21,500, has the saddlebags, has the windshield. That was my complaint with the last one because it was at $19,000, it didn't have either of those things. So I do like this option if you're getting to look into a little bit more for like a mid tour into touring bike, you could totally do it on this one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you on the next one.